I've got a super exciting video to share with you guys today. Wayne Goss is launching lip products and I watched his video on his lip products when he first released it, like right when he uploaded it to YouTube, I was watching that video and I was actually taking notes <laughs> of the shades that I wanted to purchase when they launch on Beautylish. You guys have heard me yak about his brushes for a very long time. I have every single brush that he has ever made and multiples of several. <laughs> That's how much I love his brushes. So I was really excited that he's coming out with makeup products and based off of that video, um, it led me to believe there are more products on the way and I'm super excited about it He's done such an amazing job with his makeup brushes that I don't expect anything less of any of the makeup products that he creates and You know, what was really funny. I was watching that video right making my list jotting down what shades of liners and lipsticks and stuff that I wanted to get and the FedEx man pulled up and I thought it was like I don't know a Nordstrom order or something else and so I went to go get my box and it was a Beautylish box and I was like I didn't order anything from Beautylish, <laughs> right? I opened it up and it was the entire collection of Wayne Goss's lip products. It was just the most bizarre thing that I was watching that video, taking notes of what I wanted to buy on the 5th <laughs> when they drop, and I got a package with all the products in there because I didn't have any idea that they were coming. So that was like super, I don't know, how do I say? I got all the feels. I was really like heartfelt <laughs> by getting that package. So a big thank you to Beautylish and Wayne Goss for thinking of me and sending these products out. Not gonna lie, in the lipstick range, there's a probably seven, eight shades at least that I will wear a lot because the shades, because of the undertones of them, they're very wearable. This is the darkest shade that I'm wearing right now in the shade Zinnia. And for a red lipstick, which I don't wear very often, I still feel like this looks very wearable on me. It doesn't look like super stark for some reason. And I kind of feel that way about all of the products in this line. So there are three lip products. There's the Luxury Cream Lipstick, which they're referring to the Classic Satin Cream Lipstick Reimagined. Those will retail for $28 a piece. There's the High Shine Gloss. It says a modern take on the iconic 90s lip gloss. Those will retail for $22 a piece. And then there's the Essential lip pencil and it says meet the perfect matte lip liner there are five lip liners seven glosses and ten lipsticks because of the tones of all of the products like the lip liners the glosses and the lipsticks um, they all pair together really well in several different combinations because of the undertones of the shades I did do live swatches with all of the lip products I did the glosses the lipsticks and the lip liners and then when I went to do the lip liners I put them on how I would typically use a lip liner and then paired them with a lipstick and a lip gloss and then I also tried to swatch all the products on my arm so that you can see the different combinations that you might be interested in with the glosses the liners and the lipsticks but let's talk a little bit about the package this is what the box packaging looks like for the lip liner, the lipstick, and the lip gloss. So it's a silver kind of reflective metallic packaging there. I do feel like the packaging on these products is very Wayne. Like they feel like a product that Wayne would create. Um, they're very kind of simple and sleek packaging. So this is the packaging for the gloss right here. Um, it has a doe foot applicator, kind of a little chubby doe foot applicator on there. And the glosses do have a slight a very slight minty scent to them. They're not overpowering like some can be, but it is there because I know not everybody likes a mint in their gloss. Um, I don't feel any tingle or any sensation or anything like that when I put these on the lips. I just can slightly smell the mint in the lip gloss, but they don't taste or anything like that either. Here is the packaging for the lipstick. It says Wayne Goss on there. These are a click style packaging. And then here is your lipstick. The formulation of these lipsticks is just beautiful they feel so nice on the lips they're very easy to wear again even for the darkest shade like i said i still feel like this is a very wearable lip color for like being a red kind of a berry red shade they're very comfortable on the lips as well i put a gloss on here typically i probably wouldn't put a gloss in there just because hair and whatnot i'm not the biggest gloss person i will say those glosses have they have a slight just a very very slight bit of tackiness to them but not very goopy or anything like that they almost have a, a smoother but slightly tacky type of a feel to them but back to the lipsticks here this is the packaging right here if I could change one thing about the packaging I like the packaging on the lip glosses you can see um, the colors very distinguished through the packaging um, with the lipsticks I would have loved just some form of indication of the color 
on the lipsticks just because it will be easier to find what color you're looking for especially if you buy multiples of them because the packaging all the way around is just solid black so if I could change just one thing it would be an indication of the color inside the packaging but otherwise it's very sleek and very pretty packaging it's not a magnetic closure again it's a snap top and it does say Wayne Goss around the edge of the um what is this called it says it around the edge <laughs> I don't know if I stated how much the lip liners are. The lip liners retail for $14 a piece. This is the packaging on the lip liners. It's a very standard wood pencil lip liner with a uh, kind of like an aluminum style cap on it. So you sharpen them. It's a wooden style pencil. It kind of reminds me of the Victoria Beckham pencils. They do have a longevity to them, so like when I swatched all those swatches and went to wipe them off, I did have to scrub harder to get the lip pencils off, but they're not as like bulletproof as like something like the Marc Jacobs um, gel lip liners or anything like that. They're kind of a happy medium, which is something that I like. Sometimes the ones that really cement onto the lips with that long wear can kind of leave a ring around the mouth if the rest of your lip product wears off. And I find like pencils like this and like the Charlotte Tilbury and even the um, Victoria Beckham ones, they have a nice wear to them. So where you, when your lip product wears off, your liner wears off slightly with it as well, if that makes sense. Sense. Does that make sense? <laughs> so I do like these lip liners as well. The lightest shade in vintage pink is pretty light, but it pairs beautifully with the lightest shade. Like normally I would want a little bit deeper lip liner with those lighter shades, but when I paired it for the swatching in this video, it did look really, really stunning. So I think that covers all of the talking points. Wayne, I'm ready for some more products. I'm super excited for what he has coming for us. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the swatches. I'll go ahead and start off with the glosses. This first one is Tulip. It's a nude with some very, very fine like shimmers in it. They're actually kind of hard to see. So there is the shade Tulip. This next one is the shade Cherry Blossom. There aren't any visible shimmers in this one. So there is the shade Cherry Blossom. Then we've got the shade Hyacinth. This one also doesn't have any visible shimmers in it, so it's kind of like a cream finish. And again, this is Hyacinth. I'm looking in the mirror um, behind me, making sure I'm staying in between the lines. <laughs> So that is the shade Hyacinth. Next up is the shade Petunia. This one also doesn't have any visible shimmers in it. Petunia. I think I got a doggone cat hair on there. <laughs> so that one is the shade Petunia. Those four were the cream finishes with the exception of the shade Tulip, which has very, very fine, fine shimmers. They're almost undetectable in it. They're mostly cream finishes. These next three are very high shine kind of finishes with a lot of sparkle in there. So I'll go ahead and start off with the shade Antique Rose right here. So that one is the shade Antique Rose. Just want to make note, I can feel the slightest, just the very slightest bit of, I don't want to say grit because it's not super gritty, but I can feel a little bit of the sparkles on my lips if I mush them together, but it's very, very small. This next one is the shade Hibiscus. This one's almost like a metallic where the other, the last one that I just did was kind of like a, a glitter. Yeah, this one's smooth. Oh, there's that dog on hair. I thought I got it off. <laughs> so that one is a metallic finish. It's smooth. I don't feel any particles. I don't feel any particles on the lips at all. So 
That one is the shade Hibiscus. And then the last gloss shade is the shade Chrysanthemum. And this is also kind of that metallic sheen to it. It's kind of a bronzy shade. I think it's actually coming from the wipe that I've been wiping my lips off because I keep getting a little hair in there. So that one is the shade Chrysanthemum. That's also a smooth finish to it. There's no like uh, noticeable sparkles when I rub my lips together. So the only shade out of the glosses that I could feel those sparkles on was the shade Antique Rose, but those sparkles are really pretty on the lips. So, so those were the seven glosses. Now we're gonna get into the 10 cream lipsticks. These are all kind of a cream finish. There aren't like any noticeable bits of sparkle or glitter in any of these. So this first one is the shade Daisy. Yeah, and it's called the Luxury Cream Lipstick. Probably one of my absolute favorite shades is this one. So that one is the shade Daisy. This next one is the shade Camellia. That is the wind you guys hear howling. It is a windy day out there. So that one is the shade Camellia. I love Camellia too, and I also love this next one. I, I always love the lightest nude shades. <laughs> um, this one is Magnolia right here. That is the shade Magnolia. I love that color as well. This next one is the shade Lotus. A lot of these are really amazing everyday nude colors, including this one. So that one is the shade Lotus. Next up we have the shade Amaryllis. Gosh, that's a pretty color too. So that one is the shade Amaryllis. For some reason I wanna keep saying Amarillo by morning when I say Amaryllis. <laughs> this next one is the shade Dahlia. Oh my gosh, I love this one too. So pretty, that is the shade Dahlia right there. This next one is the shade Lily. That's a pretty wearable color too. Guess it looks a little bit darker in the bullet than it goes on. Yeah, I can totally see myself wearing this one quite a bit too. These just feel so nice on the lips, my gosh. That is the shade Lily right there. Then we have got the shade Orchid. It's kind of a burnt orangey red. I used to wear a color like this with uh, Rimmel's Lip Liner and Clover. It was a MAC lipstick, like, what was it called? It was very similar to this. I used to wear this all the time with green eyeshadow. <laughs> So there is the shade Orchid. Then we have got the shade Carnation. I've kind of been wiping off a little bit of my foundation there, but. That is the shade Carnation right there. And then the very last shade and the deepest out of the bunch is the shade Zinnia right here.
these are actually just all really wearable shades even these deeper ones so that one is the shade zinnia my lips are taking a little bit of a beating and I forgot to push the record button, but we're into the lip liners now. And what I'm gonna do is just align my lips and slightly fade it in how I would normally use a lip liner and then pair it with one of the lipsticks so you guys can see uh, the combinations. So this first one is the shade Vintage Pink and I already lined my lips with this one and slightly faded it inwards. This is the lightest lip liner. The lipstick I'm gonna pair it with is the shade Camellia. which is almost a dead on combo right there. Gosh, that looks pretty, huh? That is a really beautiful combination. Normally I like something a little bit deeper even with these lighter lipsticks, but this combination is stunning. So that is the lip liner in Vintage Pink paired with the lipstick in Camellia. Let's go ahead and put a gloss on too, cause like why not, right? That way you guys can see combinations on combinations. <laughs> this is the gloss in Tulip. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on. Just to add, oh gosh, that is a pretty lip. <laughs> when I look in the viewfinder, I'm like, oh, that looks nice. <laughs> so that is paired with the gloss in Tulip. Next up is the essential lip pencil in the shade Mauve, Mauve, Mauve. Line my lips with this guy. And I'm going to pair the mauve lip liner with the shade Magnolia. And let's go ahead and top that one with the gloss in Hibiscus just to see what the combo looks like. This is one of the metallic ones. So that is topped with the gloss in hibiscus. The next essential lip pencil is Natural Berry. I'm gonna go ahead and pair the Natural Berry with Daisy to see and that is a nice combo so that's the natural berry lip pencil with the daisy lipstick and let's grab a gloss let's do the gloss in antique rose this is the really sparkly one That's the Antique Rose on top of Daisy Lipstick and Natural Berry Lip Liner. That is a pretty combo. The fourth lip pencil I have is Sepia. And I'm going to pair Sepia with the lipstick in Lily. So there is sepia lip liner with Lily lipstick and then let's go ahead and put on the gloss in Petunia over the top. So there is the combo with Petunia over the top. And then lastly, I have got the lip pencil in the shade Cinnamon, which is the darkest of the five. has a slight kind of cherry undertone to it. Which one of these should I pair it with? I've got Carnation and Zinnia. I 
think they would both look really stunning with the slip liner. Um, let's go with uh, let's go with Zinnia, the darkest one. It's like a dead on combo, man. Gosh. Pretty though, right? So that is the Zinnia lipstick paired with the cinnamon lip liner right there. And we will grab a gloss as well. I think a fun combo would be to pair this with the gloss in Chrysanthemum, which is kind of that bronzy one. That'll be a fun combo. So this is Chrysanthemum. Oh yeah, that is pretty. I don't do gloss too much, but it really does add a dimension to the lip. Isn't that, oh my gosh, <laughs> they're so shiny in the viewfinder. <laughs> so that's with the um, lip gloss in Chrysanthemum paired over the top right there. That is really pretty. I was going to wipe this off and put on a nude for filming the rest of the parts of the video, but I think I'm just going to leave it on. It looks so pretty. The last thing that I wanted to do was swatch all of the lipsticks next to all of the lip liners and I'll try to get the glosses in there too so that you guys can visually see all of the products swatched and possibly pair different combinations that you might want to order for yourself. We'll start off with the lipsticks. I've got the shade Camellia. Try to put them off to the side. There's Camellia. Then we have got the shade Daisy. I know I'm gonna wear these two colors like crazy. This third one is the shade Magnolia. I'm gonna wear this one a lot too. I'm gonna wear a lot of these a lot, not gonna lie. There's Magnolia. Then we've got the shade Lotus. And the shade Amaryllis. Followed by Dahlia. And Lily. And then the last three we have got Orchid, Carnation, and Zinnia right here. Here is the lip pencil in Vintage Pink right here. Followed by Natural Berry right here. This next one is the shade Mauve. I'm trying not to put my hand in the lipstick swatches. I kind of did that kind of funny, but that's the lip liner in Mauve. Here's the lip liner in Sepia. And then lastly, the lip liner in Cinnamon right there. If you guys want to see like different pairing combinations. Then we've got the gloss in Tulip. Hyacinth, Hibiscus, Antique Rose, Cherry Blossom, Petunia, and the last one is Chrysanthemum, which is the metallic bronze right there. Hopefully you guys can see all those. My intention here is to let you guys see all the products in one shot if you wanted to, you know, pair lip liners with different lipsticks and glosses and stuff like that, so... I just feel like the combinations because of the tones of the colors, like so many possibilities of lip combinations with these. And that is everything for this video. A huge thank you to Beautylish and Wayne Goss for sending over these products. There's some very beautiful, endless combinations of lip products here. Uh, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Stay safe out there. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I will see you guys later. Bye.